I'm taking my test to be a pharmacist here in the United States. We see the 21 on reading. The requirements in Florida are a little bit different than the National Association Board of Pharmacy. Hmm. Uh, in Florida, they require 21 in reading, 18 in listening. Speaking and writing say the same. Since I got this score and it's enough for me to apply a, a license here in Florida. Edgar, I look forward to hearing about more future success from you. Share it with us. Be ready. So this is the next the next one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already ready. 2022 now, please. So this is day one of studying. This is day one of studying. <laughs> this is day one for studying. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I'm so ready. Um, I, my goal is like two or three months and then go take the test. I remember in, the, in this last test, um, in my break time, I was just thinking, explain, 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 and in the integrated section, integrate and connect. Explain, explain. Edgar, what do you mean, explain, explain? What's the difference between how you were explaining before our speaking classes and how you improved with the explaining part of your answers? Before, when I, uh, I used to use uh, different tutors online and uh, even I went to have uh, classes with someone uh, here in Florida, um, they always like, oh, the professor in the lecture explain, the professor in the lecture explain his example, explain this word, this concept. And then, whoa, I thought, well, I just need to repeat whatever the professor said and then try to explain. But what you taught me that explain is not that me explain. The professor never explained. The professor just give examples about his own life related to the concept, related to a topic. Mm. Or example about anything related to the topic, just to give a general idea or a different way to describe the topic that they're talking about. If you have to explain, I have to explain, I have to explain what I understood and I have to explain um, either paraphrasing the words or uh, doing my own like thoughts and explaining on my own words what I understood about the lecture. Uh, but wait a minute. What if somebody has heard, hey, Edgar, you, you, can't, you can't say something that the professor didn't say. Can you give advice to somebody right now? Maybe like imagine this is you six months ago, a year ago. What if somebody is hearing advice that's not from me and they believe they're not supposed to say anything that the professor or the conversation between the two students didn't say? What do you mean when you say your own ideas? Well, it does not mean that you're going to change the whole subject or they're going to change the whole conversation. Like, if they're talking about the cafeteria, you're not going to change it to talk about the library, okay? So you have to be focused on, to be on topic, but you need to explain. If they're talking about a lot of uh, distractions and you know the distractions is about a noise, so you can just say, oh, they, they disagree because of the noise not because of the distraction, which she refers specifically that it was everything loud. Hmm. So Excellent. You, Perfect can example. You, can, you can change things and you can show because the, the, the TOEFL raters, they're looking to see if you can speak in a variety of words. If you're able to understand what uh, the lecture or the conversation is about. I see you as a big success. Can I ask you to give some kind of inspirational message or advice to people? What if somebody's on test number 14 right now or test number nine and they feel like a failure because maybe like you, they, they always graduate with honors. What would you tell that person who's listening to you right now and sees you as a success? And they are too. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself, believe in your roots, because that's what I stood for. That's what kept me on going. If I, if I take it as many times as I can, I don't mind and I don't care. I just need to pass the test and move on in my career. 
So I just focus in my roots. Before our classes, what was the highest score you had received on TOEFL speaking? Once in 2021, I got 25. And then I said, well, I need something. I need someone to help me. Thank you so much, Aaron. Uh, your, um, your classes are awesome. Um, I really, uh, when I saw your first video with um, one of your students, I said, wow, this is kind of cool. And I think that's gonna help me. And I focused on that. I said, Aaron is gonna help me because the way that he was teaching in that class, he was kind of like debating with the student, helping them like to, you know, doing uh, things that I have never seen with other tutors to do with the students. And they just focus on reading or they focus on talking to the student through the lecture, but they don't go more or above that. And you do that. And when I saw that, I said, well, I'm just gonna give it a try. Just give it a try. I'm not gonna lose or waste my time because whether you, uh, you give me, I will learn something from you, you know? That's what I was say. I said, at least I will, less, I will learn something from him. But incredibly, it was like life-changing. And I hope you, uh, you keep inspiring and helping more pharmacists and more other students to achieve their goal and become a professional here in the United States. I will. To get more of this for your 26 on speaking, my Facebook group and YouTube channel are linked in the description of this video. Also, you can see my Facebook group and YouTube channel by going to speaking26.com.